Hello everyone, welcome to Bottom Science. So today we are going to learn how to plot 2D vectors in Python. So without wasting any time, let's start this tutorial. Here I'm using an IDE called Jupyter Notebooks, but you can use your own uh, favorite IDE. It's, uh, it doesn't matter actually. And uh, for example, if you want to use PyCharm, you can use it or use, uh, you want to use uh, Spider or whatever VS Code, you can use any of the IDE. But uh, for this uh, task, uh, I, I thought uh, the Jupyter Notebooks is uh, more suitable. That's why I'm using it. So there is no restriction to use any kind of IDE here. So let's start this, uh, let's start with the coding part. Uh, before starting, uh, we have to import uh, the two, uh, not two, but uh, the one uh, most important uh, library for plotting in the Python, which is called matplotlib. Uh, uh, so to import this library, we just have to write import matplotlib dot pyplot. That is, we are using the pyplot component of this library as plt so plt is nothing but uh, an alias name or you can say nickname of this library uh, which we will be using uh, to use this uh, python library so if you have not installed this matplotlib library so please uh, check in your system that you have uh, installed it and if you do not know how to install these libraries uh, just go to internet and type how to install matplotlib and there is a pip command to install it uh, and after that you can use this library so i'm just going to uh, hit run button here so if there is no error uh, is if, if the no error is coming here so that means that this library is installed and that means you can use this library so if the error is coming after running this statement then that means that uh, you have not installed matplotlib in not in your system so go uh, go in your command prompt or uh, terminal to install this so after this, uh, we have to create a uh, vector. Uh, I'm using a list to create a vector, uh, which will help us to create a, a I component and J component of the 2D vector. So uh, I'm just uh, creating that vector using a list. So uh, the first component I'm taking, for example, as two and the second component is as five. So Ith component of the vector is two and the Jth component of the vector is five. So this is our vector, which we are going to plot in this uh, tutorial. So I'm just uh, hitting a run button again. Now to plot this vector, we have to use a function called quiver, which is a part of matplotlib library. So I'm just using this function called quiver. So we have to use the uh, library name here, plt, and then quiver function. So quiver function will help you to plot uh, the vector actually. So this is very important function, which we are going to use here. And the initial two attributes of this quiver function will tell you the origin of the vector. So in general, we take the origin as zero, zero. So I'm just putting zero, zero here. So uh, after putting these two attributes, we have to use the uh, the components of the vector that is the i component that is 2 and the j component that is 5 so we are calling it uh, the i component here that is the zeroth index the i component is at the zeroth index of the list and the j component is at the first index of the list so i'm just using the components of the vector here so make sure that you are using the correct uh, indices here because uh, it is very important that it should get a value from these uh, list uh, indexes and uh, after that, uh, there are so many other attributes which you, which you can, you can use here. And, uh, uh, for example, if you want to use angles here, so angles is nothing but the units of angles that your vector makes with the x axis. So by default, its value is, uh, its value is x, y. So that means that, uh, uh, which means, uh, angle will be measured in radians from the x axis. So that's, uh, your angles attribute. So I'm just uh, using this at these attributes uh, to show you the more features of quiver function. Uh, these are not necessary to use, but uh, for uh, multiple purpose, we may use these uh, uh, these attributes uh, maybe in future. So I'm just uh, showing you how these attributes are going to contribute in your plotting. So another attribute is called scale units. I'm going to use here is scale units here. And this is also another uh, attribute which will help you to specify the units of the vector length and by default its value is also x, y and you can change it uh, according to your situation and uh, right now x, y means uh, the uh, vector length will be taken as x and y data, li data limits of the vector. So uh, and after that there is another uh, attribute called scale 
which will help you to scale your vector length. For example, by default it is one and if you want to uh, reduce your vector length by 50%, then you should put it as two. So scale will help you to reduce your, reduce the length of your vector. So uh, I'm just keeping it as one because I just, I do not want to change the actual length of my vector. So I'm keeping it as a hundred percent here. So uh, after that, there are so many other attributes also present. Uh, for example, if you want to put color of your uh, of the vector, that is a ve line of the vector. If you want to put color in it, uh, then you can use, I'm just using a red color here. So you can uh, put uh, your favorite color in, into the vector. So uh, this is it. And uh, uh, this will help you to plot your vector. This is a very uh, easy function, I should say. And after that, uh, uh, there are so many other things we, uh, before uh, actual plotting, we should uh, take care of them. And uh, one of them is uh, putting the limits on the axis. So, uh, which is uh, which is nothing but uh, to put the uh, x and uh, y axis limits so that our uh, plot should be uh, uh, should be visible uh, clearly, which what, whatever we want to see. So, for example, I want to put uh, the limits on the x axis. So, uh, there is a function called x limit. Uh, that is x lim and you can put the limit to the x axis from this function. So, I'm just putting it as a zero comma. 0 comma 10 for example because uh, our x-axis is just 2 so this it will be contained in this range easily so another uh, thing I want to use is uh, the limit for y-axis so we have to use uh, another function called y limit I'm just copying it and changing the name of the function and I'm, I'm also putting it as a 0 uh, comma 10 so uh, our vector has a 5 length in the y-axis so it will be contained in this so make sure that uh, whatever limit you are using it should be contained in uh, uh, your vector should be contained in those limits so that's it and after that you can put label to your x and y axis it is not necessary but i'm just showing you that how to put a limit uh, how to put labels on your x and y axis so uh, there is a, a very easy function called x label so by using this you can put a label on x axis i am just using a very generic name here that is x and you can change uh, according to your situation and i'm just putting here uh, the uh, the label for y axis also that is nothing but y label you just have to change the name of the function that is y label and i'm just putting the label as y so that's it uh, now your uh, limits are uh, limits are set and your labels are set and your actual vector is al already plotted here and after that uh, what is uh, what you can do is you can put grid lines here according to your according to your uh, plan to show how uh, how your plot looks like so i'm just putting grid lines here so that my plot looks like a, a, like a graph so you can put uh, the grid lines in your uh, uh, plot according to your uh, requirement so i'm just putting here and now all these activities will be uh, will not be shown until you uh, use this final function called show so i'm just using uh, using this uh, function called show so uh, before uh, uh, without using it th there is nothing will be shown on the screen unless you use it so this is very important function which you have to use the uh, to show the final plot so that's it uh, i think we can run the hit button here and uh, the plots will be uh, visible then so as you can see that our vector is clearly visible it is very beautiful to see that uh, our vector is correctly visible and you can see the x axis is showing two two units and y axis is showing five units that is between four and six and that's it another thing i want to show you is that uh, if you want to plot for example two vectors then how you should approach this uh, uh, how how you should uh, change this code so you just have to copy these uh, this code and you have to create another vector and for example and now uh, you you may use uh, the another vector uh, uh, list so that uh, your other vector should be visible here i'm just creating another vector called v2 i can put it as v1 here so i'm just uh, I'm just using another vector. Uh, for example, I'm using uh, uh, six comma uh, eight. So this is another vector. I'm just using it, and uh, I'm just uh, use. I just have to use the uh, another vector here because I'm plotting second vector in the second uh, quiver function. So you can use the vector two here, and here the vector one should be used because I've changed the name of the vector one. So this is it. Now your uh, you can change the color uh, uh, color of the second vector. That is, I'm just putting blue here. So now both the vectors will be visible in your plot. Uh, let's run these statements again and see the what will happen here. So you can see that both the vectors are plotted very beautifully here. 
So as you can see, the every vector that is a, a first vector is a two comma five that is here, and the second vector is six comma eight that is here. So I hope you have understood this uh, uh, small code of uh, plotting two D vectors very easily using Quiver function. Uh, the code uh, will be available on our website. I will put the uh, link in the description. So if you still have doubts about this, how to plot another, uh, like for example, you have another requirement for 2D vectors plotting or something else, you can put that doubt in the comments below and we will try to answer it. So uh, thanks for watching it. Have a nice day.